Hers in Chess Homes, which reacts and this is Why are purple flags so rare? Short animated documentary by the channel History Matters. Why are purple flags so rare? What caused the lack of them? Yeah. I didn't know it was such a, you know, such a debate like that because I didn't thought of it that way. But yeah, uh, purple, I guess it's because it's not one of the primary colors like, you know, RGB, red, green, and blue. And I guess, uh, you know, whenever you see flags, it's usually like something as a red, yellow, blue, green, things like that. Purple feels like a bit of a strong color. And I guess that could be one of the reasons too, like yeah, getting a purple dye would have been harder, right? Yeah, uh, it just right now in this modern age, you're like, oh, it's just colors. Let's just print them. No, but in the past, you need dyes for it, and I, I highly doubt you know purple dye was that easy to do. I don't know, but it could be something like that, or it could be like you know, obviously in the past, uh, countries uh, you know, co you know, fighting, conquering, and basically over the time, you could uh, you know trace a certain country or you know nations lineage to some other country because they they used to be part of the certain empire this and that and their flag could be traced to that so you know the flag could be similar to the other countries because of that reason i guess that could be it i don't know but if i were to think i i think is probably going to be you know the dye it would be harder to make right purple just feels like it just intuitive feels like a harder thing harder color to get but i don't know it's going to be interesting Remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe. So, I know which type of videos to do more. I like history and history topics in general. I like History Matters channel. But yeah, if you want me to react to any other video, comment down. Even if I don't reply, I try to see all the comment, comments. So yeah, let's do this one. Flags. Every nation has one. Some are rectangles, some are squares, and some are Nepals. Some, like in Scandinavia, <laughs> have common symbols like crosses. Oh, and yeah. some, like nations in Europe, have similar colours, except for Lithuania, who apparently didn't get the memo. Yet one colour you won't see very often on any of the flags in the world is purple. And in fact, only two modern flags have the colour in them. Which raises the obvious question, why? Why are purple flags so rare? Alright, wait a second. Seriously though, look at that. That is blue, that is white, red, again, blue, red, again, white, uh, sudden orange, yellow is there too, red, red and blue, right? This is kind of becoming a trend in this way. The Even in this blue, green, like I said, the main primary colors, right? RGB, yellow, also there, blue, sure. In them, which raises the obvious question, why? Why are purple flags so rare? As many of you will know, the color purple was the color of royalty and was historically associated with Roman emperors. Oh, the reason okay. for this was that purple dye was, to put it mildly, very, very expensive. Well, there there you was go. one dye in particular, <laughs> Tyrian dye, which was especially coveted due to its deep color. So flags have been around for a very long time and their use as battle standards can be traced back thousands of years to India, China and the Roman Empire. However, it was during the medieval period in Europe that banners, saints, flags and royal standards slowly took root as becoming an easily identifiable symbol of nations. This one isn't a joke, by the way. The French royal say. coat of arms was just a field of white. I'm not being mean. Anyway, since a joke, I, I by just, the way, the French royal coat of arms fucking awesome. Look at that. So England's like, oh, we have white and red. Denmark's like, we have red and white in water than you, right? We, we are opposing. And France is like, yeah, I'm already waving white flag. We already said surrender. <laughs> With the current uh, meme or, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it for France, this doesn't fit well. <laughs> this is just funny. Becoming an easily identifiable symbol of nations. <laughs> this one isn't a joke, by the way. The French royal coat of arms was just a field of white. I'm not being mean. Anyway, since Europe is where flags morphed into national symbols, we'll focus on there. You would expect that kings, given their constant need to one-up each other, would have picked purple for their colours. But again, I need to stress this, it was extremely expensive. So there you with go. one Makes exception, sense. none of the older European states ever made use of purple as a national colour because then they'd have less money to spend on wars. One group that made great use of the colour purple was the papacy. I mean, somebody will think like, is you know, how many flags are you going to need anyway? But you need to understand that when you're doing war or anything or you erecting buildings here and there, right? Fort scale, you need lots of flags. I mean, the logistics behind that would be crazy. So one would think like, it's just some flags. Like how many flags are you going to need anyway? Yeah, a lot of it. So that would add up, right? The expensiveness of it. Cardinals wore purple robes. Now, Europeans have been trying to make their own purple dye for centuries by simply dyeing red cloth blue, but the results were mixed. <laughs> the best they could do was this purple, which was then promptly adopted by the Kingdom of Castile and Leon for their flag. As time went on, Europe's kingdoms became nations and the national symbols became entrenched. Most of these nations then became empires, and so their own limited range of flags dominated most of the world's heraldry until the 19th century. But what about when these empires collapsed? What about the new nations formed from them? 
Well, for the nations which broke away from the Spanish Empire, or say the United States of America, purple was still extremely expensive at this point. In fact, it wasn't until the 1850s that a synthetic purple dye was created, and thus only nations created after that would likely have a purple flag. Now, it's important to remember that purple's use by the papacy and royalty coloured people's opinions of it. When you look at the nations oh. which broke away from the world's imperial powers, most of them were republics and many of them weren't Catholic, and so for them, purple was tainted. Oh, How that makes sense. So there's also a religious aspect of it. Because of the Catholics, uh, the countries who don't want to identify as Catholics, obviously, because let's be honest, lots of countries were fed up with Pope. So, uh, obviously, that would be one of the reasons, like, Pope, why the fuck would I do that, right? I mean, that, that is clearly associated with Catholic Church, and that could send wrong message or whatever. So, yeah, expensive dye, uh, obviously expensive in 1850, expensive dye, you know, connection to the Pope, yeah, Catholic Church, yeah. However, there was one notable exception in history, Spain, who after the overthrow of its monarchy in 1931 adopted this amazing flag, which you will notice, big old purple stripe. Now, in Spain, Ooh. red and yellow were associated with the flag. Wait a second. Why is that flag looking so good? I guess this just a shade of red and yellow. Yellow is like a gold type yellow, not, uh, you know, your simple yellow. Even the red, I don't know how to say, cherry red with that purple just looks perfect. I mean, if it was any other color, like imagine green or blue there with the purple. I guess because of the green, since green is so bright to our eyes, it wouldn't have worked, right? This flag is perfect in a way because of the color combinations. Like whoever came up with this was a genius, or maybe it was just luck, who knows. But yeah, this, this flags with this color just match awesomely. ...which you will notice, big old purple stripe. Now, in Spain, red and yellow were associated with the Kingdom of Aragon, and purple with uh. Castile and Leon, which is why uh. it was added to the flag. And after it the Spanish luck. Republic was francoed, its flag returned to this, and purple, due to its lack of history in flags and its association with the Catholic Church and monarchies, never took hold as a major color for flags. I hope you enjoyed That's this it. episode and thank you for watching with a special thanks to my Patreon supporters, James Bizanet, and Longley, Gareth Turner, Mr. Show, Rich Yeah, even here with this Bizanet, look at that. So yeah, uh, basically it's that, first of all, it was the primary colors would dominate, like, because why wouldn't it? There's a reason that these have primary colors, like red, blue, yellow, green. This would be one of the prime, first of all, green should be the more primary than it is, but then again, uh, from the start, you know, green has been something like a calming color for some reason. And uh, flags don't want to look, uh, you know, that. I mean, usually when it's about war, you wave your flag. And green just feels, uh, you know, yeah, maybe calming a bit. That's why, you know, darker blues and reds are more, more of a thing because they're kind of a strong threatening in a way. But yeah, green, bright green would have been uh, best color if you're not looking at the war aspect of it because it's so bright to our eyes. Even at the distance, you can see what it is. But yeah, the primary colors like red, blue, green, this dominated. Purple, like they said, Romans had it, right? There's a reason, right? Romans like, yeah, we the shit, we have the bling, basically. We have the money to do it. So they did it. But after that, it was just expensive. And uh, like I said, if, if you're doing war or anything, or you're just putting up buildings, creating some kind of an empire and putting flags everywhere, like forts, castles, yeah, th that would accumulate over time. So uh, expensive purple dye would be a problem. And I bet it's not just expensive, right? Even if it's expensive, it would be, even then it would be hard to do, like somebody could mess up the flag or something. It's not like, you know, the accuracy is 100%, like anybody can make the flag. I, I, I bet the wastage would have been higher too. So it was just hard to do, so nobody did. But yeah, after 1850, yeah, you, you can kind of see it. Yeah. Right, well, that was why are purple flags so rare? I kind of seen that, right? Like, it has to be something with the dye. Since there were so many nations and empires, uh, you know, uh, people would want to flex, but the money aspect is the only thing that could deter somebody. So yeah, dye would be, the expensive dye would be the thing, but yeah. Alright, I'll see you next time.